Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Breakout number one. This is a new comic book from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, normally, I we, we don't do a lot of Dark Horse Comics, but this one just kind of really caught my eye. The The cover was really interesting. And I, I once I got into it and I read it, uh, I was like, oh, I need to make a video for this. So <clears throat> uh, we have a script here by Zach Kaplan. With art by Wilton Santos, uh, colors by Jason Wardy, and letters by Jim Campbell. Uh, we'll have multiple covers, one by Adam Gorham and one by Rafael Albuquerque, which you'll get to see at the end of the video. Uh, so real quick in this uh, in this uh, comic, when a massive when massive cube spaceships from another dimension materialize over our cities and routinely abduct teenagers, to be held inside their mysterious floating prisons, Liam Watts' younger brother Tommy is taken. But while governments and adults across the world accept the loss as inevitable, Liam refuses to give up hope. Now in a Take Back Our Future anthem, Liam assembles a skilled team of ordinary high school students to risk it all before they can pull off the impossible and succeed in an out-of-this-world prison break. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like, like I said, this... This comic just looked really interesting from the get-go. Uh, and once I got into the premise, because the, the comic's really good about everything I just kind of said in the synopsis, uh, the comic's really good about letting you know in the first few pages. So here I'm looking at some of the art, and we hear here uh, talking about the school. And look, of course, this has a lot of, you know, um, probably not, not as much commentary, but just it definitely touches on things like, you know, gun violence in schools uh the pandemic like all that stuff that all these issues that are ongoing and eventually society just kind of has accepted them to be as normal uh so this transition i think the team is really good about you know not really telling you what's going on in the first few pages they just make it seem like some kind of drill for an emergency at school and then boom we get to this page big reveal in in the um you know big reveal in the field here uh, and then that's when you kind of know, okay, this is an augmented version of everything that we've talked about. Um, you know, all these things that ha keep happening to our society, uh, but we just kind of let them go, but with a sci-fi twist. Uh, and I love the way that the art is laid out here. Just this timeline of events, like kind of explaining what's happening, what's going on with everything, with the world, how the government responded, lockdowns, closures for schools, all these safety measures eventually leading back to people just accepting that maybe this is the way that life's going to go on for now. And let's try to go back to normal. So like I said, it touches on a lot of those themes of like, you know, things that we're struggling with now today, uh, you know. So I don't know. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. Uh, once you get to know the characters, of course, you spend a lot, most of the time with Liam uh, and his story because this is about his family. Uh, and you get to learn what happened to his brother. But also you get to meet some of Liam's friends or some of these colleagues or some of these students that he's going to be working with. Uh, and then kind of the plan that they come up with. Uh, and it sounds kind of like a, a bit of a heist book, which I appreciate a heist. Uh, obviously, it's like a prison break type of situation. Um, but yeah, this was... Super enjoyable. I just had a really, really good time with it. This could be something that could go on for a while um, and, and just kind of reboot. And, and like this, I don't know, this story has a lot of potential. So I highly recommend you check this out. Uh, this also feels primed for an adaptation. So like I would not be surprised you pick this up now. This comic like just, you know, gets made into like a TV or a movie in the next few years, uh, which I think would be great. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's what I think of Breakout number one. Let us know down in the comments if you got a chance to read it. Uh, once again, this is from Dark Horse Comics. So if anybody at Dark Horse is watching this, send us review copies. We'll do more videos for you guys uh, because we just want to, we really love the Dark Horse Comics. We just never, don't always get a chance to go out to the store and, and buy them uh, so we can make videos on time. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live that it's most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more trailer reactions, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that good stuff here in the channel. Uh, also, come back uh, for our next live where we'll be talking about the worst comic book adaptation in movies uh, from 1998 to the present. 
uh, with all this chatter about Morbius being the worst comic book movie, we decided, is it really? Uh, we got a lot of input from surveys from the listeners and watchers of this channel. Uh, so we appreciate everyone who sent in their list. We've compiled all the data together. So we'll be able to give you a, a list from your point of view, and then we'll bring our own list to the discussion. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you some of those uh, covers for this book. But as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.